<clears throat> Hello there, how are you? I'm Helen Sally, your destiny helper. Thank you for joining me on today. You know, many of you have written me and said, you know, I think I'm being uh, stalked. I think I'm being hunted. What is this all about? Sometimes when narcissists lose a supply or they discarded a supply and the supply refused for them to return because they just had enough of just de uh, devaluation and discard, devaluation and discard. And when they tried to hoover the supply and the supply said, no, I'm, I'm, I'm done with this. I'm out of this. I'm tired of hurting. I'm tired of going through. I'm not taking you back. And the narcissist does every kind of hoover that they can do than what the narcissist does, especially when they got a lot out of that supply. They began to stalk the supply. They began to hunt the supply. And they just don't, and there's gang stalkers where they get all of their flying monkeys that will collaborate with them. And you notice a system of people following you. And it's the same people, you know, no matter where you go, you look up and there's someone that you recognize. You say, wait a minute, I saw them over there. And then you prove it by going different places intentionally. And guess what? They show up. Then you get a phone call. Then you get a text. Then you get a letter saying, why won't you talk to me? You know, I knew that you were here. I knew that you was there. Who was the person that you were with? Who was the person that you talking to? Why did you go out with this person? And you're wondering how did they have that much information concerning you? And then you notice certain people you saw that saw you there. And you know now that you are being followed. And when you call the police, you can't really give a report. Why? Because you haven't seen them. You know them, but you can't prove that they're stalking you. And then if they're questioned, they say, look, I'm just going to the store and I happen to see her. So it's all kind of craziness. The, the narcissist, when the narcissist, when all of what he does uh, doesn't work. The Hoover doesn't work. The telephone calls. And I mean, they text you just like when they was love bumming you. Now they're texting you. You could text them and they will send a one word text. I'm okay. You know, okay. Or call you later. A few words they will send to you. Now they're sending you these long texts again. You know, when I was there, I did everything for you. When I was there, I loved you. You mistreated me. It was your fault. You didn't love me like you should. You knew I would give my life for you. I gave you everything I have. You know, I loved you with my life. I was willing to go to counsel. I told you if you just hold on, I would go, but you didn't wait. Yeah, but you didn't talk about the physical abuse. You didn't talk about the verbal abuse. You didn't talk about the, the serial cheating. You didn't talk about the constant harassment. You didn't talk about the house being under hostage because we never knew what mood you were in. You never talk about all of those things. But now that they're not there, they make everything your fault. You get blamed for every single thing. And so now the narcissist is stalking you. And sometimes the narcissist will make themselves known because they want you to know, I'm watching you. You're not getting away from me. You will never be free from me. And then if you're with someone, they show up. If they can be that, they will show up and challenge the person. And the person that's new in your life think, mm -mm, I'm, I'm not going through this. This is not what I've, I bargained for. This is not what I got in here for. I'm not going to go through this. And guess what? The person leave your life and you find yourself struggling. You find yourself fighting. You find yourself subjective to what the narcissist does. They're still in your life, especially if there's children. Then you get a court citation saying that the narcissist is demanding equal rights with the children and you're trying to protect the kids so now you're in a court situation and now the narcissist is literally trying to prove you unfit because they don't just want visitation right they want the children and they stalk you they show up at the children's school then you find out the narcissist got the children out of school so you call the police because there is no parenting plan in place and the police tell you there's nothing they can do because he's the father so you go to the court and you try to get a parenting plan submitted but the narcissist tell how you scream how you holler and you didn't know that they had different tapings of you going off and and you going to a therapist or you're on medications to calm your nerve 
all of these things can be used against you. So when you are noticed, when you notice the narcissist has discarded you, the narcissist is gone for a certain period of time, make sure you keep a total uh, a written um, uh, document of things that happen. Keep your texts. Keep your phone calls. If you can get a tape recorder, take those phone calls. Keep them and keep your cool because the narcissist wants you to display anger. The narcissist wants to make you upset. And remember, they've been with you long enough, more than likely, to know how to push those buttons when there's children involved. Because the narcissist, once they prove that you're unfit because maybe you got hostile, maybe you threw something, and all of this is recorded because a lot of times what the narcissist does, they will put tape recorders, they will put cameras in the house and not let you know that there's cameras. They will even tag your car. They will even do your phone. Your phone has been tapped. And so you have to use wisdom. Never tell a narcissist your moves because you got to be very stealth when you do this. You have to use wisdom. Don't say what you're going to do. Do what you're going to do. Go to the court. Get a parenting plan because those are their children as much as yours. And the courts will consider those alternatives. Go get a parenting plan. Put it in place. And if you have filed police report from physical violation, physical abuse of the children, then they take those reports with you because then they can get supervised vision, uh, supervised uh, visitation, or they may discard those visitation altogether until the final ruling of the judge. And when you are know that you are being stopped with these things in place, you will have more power in your position to help you alleviate some of the terror that is being placed on you. The, the narcissist is known to stop their victim if they can't hoover them back in. Because a lot of times when the narcissist have great supply and that supply readily gives to them, the narcissist don't want to lose that supply. And the narcissist will fight. The narcissist will stalk. The narcissist will get their flying monkeys. The narcissist will do everything in their power to get that supply. And they, even if they're serial cheaters, they don't want you to cheat. They want you to be loyal to them while they are disloyal to you. And the narcissist will fight you as if you're the only thing they have. And the whole time, they got an entourage of other supplies. But you cannot because the narcissist consider you their property. They're never your property, but they consider you their property. So when you are being stalked, and then the hunted, you have to watch their word because there are malignant narcissists that don't stop, they hunt. And you hunt prey for the kill. And so if you know that that narcissist is malignant, you know that narcissist has psychopathic tendencies, then you make sure you file a police report. And like they use cameras, you can use cameras too. You can show where they're seen at this time, seen at that time, everywhere you go, the narcissist is seen. Stalking is against the law. And that it can be some horrific um, uh, result from stalking a victim because you have a right to freedom going in and out of your house with ease than to have someone who's stalking you. And, and, and don't think emotionally. Think very rationally in preserving your life because some narcissists may not be, they they are after you, but they may use the kid in the source of kidnapping or different things like that. Make sure you go to the school, tell the school no one is to pick up your child but you or an appointee and tell them what that appointee is, is and make sure the right people know if the father come, the father have no rights. If the mother come, the mother have no rights. And if you have to get a judicial system in, in place to assist you, that means you go in and get a plan or a order from the court dismissing their right to get the child until a divorce settlement and, and or until the case has settled into the parental rights. Do everything you can to get the law on your side and do not delay. The narcissists are very calculative. They're very, they are, they strategize and they are very, very detailed when it comes to their wicked ways. So make sure that you get the courts 
on your side. Make sure that there's, if there's witnesses involved, you write it down. You write detail. You write time. You write incident. You write people who were there because some narcissists have been known to take their children and they didn't want the child. They just didn't want the supply. They didn't want the mother or the father to have the child. So they took over the child and they wasn't with the child. They turned the child over to the parent. But you can't go back and say that he's ignoring or he's abandoning the child when they got a parent or they got a relative that's looking over the child. So in order to uh, uh, strengthen your parental rights, in order to protect yourself from such uh, narcissistic stalking or those of you who said you're being hunted, hunted like a prey, do the right thing. Get your emotions out of the way. Take care of it. Get the law involved as much as you can. And where the law isn't, your discretion is. Use wisdom. Don't tell people your business because you don't know who is with the narcissist. You don't know who their flying monkeys are. You don't know their capability. And when they are with the narcissist, because it is not beyond the narcissist to sleep with a friend, to sleep with a family member, your mother, your grandmother, any item or any person that they can use, the narcissist will get good uh, 100 benefit out of it to get what they want. So please make sure you write down everything. Don't talk to the narcissist. Get a lawyer involved. Let the lawyer do your speaking because you could be taped. And once the narcissist set you off, you cannot take those words back, especially when they're after your children. Your words need to be precise. Your words need to be meaningful, intentional. Let your lawyer speak for you. Let an advocate speak for you. And if there is abuse, you need a hard copy. Call the police so you can have a tabulation of the abuse. Fear is not enough to stop you with a narcissist. Get over your fear because now you may be protecting your children and you must gain the momentum of knowledge and wisdom in order to be free. Stalkers can be dangerous because they get you in the wrong place and they confront you. You don't know whether they are armed because a narcissist hate loss. A narcissist refuse to lose. And you don't want to be the item of, of, of competition. And the competition is your freedom. They don't want you free. They want you bound. Because remember, the narcissists believe that you are their property. And once you agree with them and have taken them back and taken them back, and then now you're saying, no, no, the narcissist does not respect boundaries, nor does the narcissist know the word no, even though it's a complete sentence. And when you know that you are being stalked, be wise, be vigilant, protect your children, go to the school, set everything that you need to set in place. Do not leave them outside playing. Watch them when you go with babysitters, that the babysitter isn't intimidated or, or make sure that the babysitter is aware that no one is to take the children just in case they come and say, well, I'm the dad. I have a right to the child. And then they take the child because you did not disclose all of the proper information. And so when you have a stalker, when you have a hunter, when you have a narcissist that will not quit, then neither do you. I hope that that helped you. I hope that I gave you some information. You know, this subject is a very broad subject. So expect for me to do another video concerning this with more information. But I hope that that information really, really, really set you uh, off and, and gave you the some wisdom and knowledge that you need and even strength and encouragement because you're stronger than you think. You're more powerful than you think. You say, why would you say that? And how could you say that? You still here. They didn't destroy you, honey. Fighters win and winners refuse to quit. So join me again on my next video. Also, we're going to Honolulu, Hawaii in August 11th through the 16th. We arrived there on the 16th for registration. And then we leave, we ride there on the 11th, rather, for registration. And we leave on the 16th. And we're going to enjoy a round, round tables with my guest, a special guest, Dr. Carmen Bryant. And um, we got Cluster B Karen. We have uh, 
Tasha. We have Tasha. And hopefully we will have uh, Yolanda and we have others that you're going to enjoy. So it's a mixture of ministry and it's a mixture of a round table talking about narcissists. And guess what? We want to hear your story. Let's hear your story. Let's let that story go viral. Let's help other people. If you want to help other people, join me in our Honolulu, Hawaii event. From, uh, and it's August 11th through the 16th. We expect a few days in my community tab. I will have all the information you need. But those of you who expect to go, get your plane ticket now while the prices are pretty decent. And then write me, destinyhelper 12 s at gmail.com. And say, I have my plane ticket. I'm just waiting for my hotel information. And dinner, <clears throat> we will be serving lunch. And dinner will be on your own so you can enjoy the island. And it is really, really Beautiful. So join me in uh, August 11th through the 16th. Get your plane ticket. Write me, destinyhepper 12 s at gmail.com and say, guess what? I'm going to be there. And you know what? I'm going to look for you there. I'm Apostle Helen, your Destiny Heifer. Thank you so much. <laughs>